Morning everyone, lesson 135, if I defend myself I'm attacked. Yeah, I'm very, very aware of this lesson and um, I'd say the best place I learned how not to defend myself was when I was in therapy. Because um, every time I defended myself I put up a barrier and I didn't listen to people and I thought I know everything and they saw it as an attack. Um, so they got very angry with me and started fighting with me. So I suppose that's how um, it manifested for me. So I just surrendered, let go, um, just let go completely. Don't defend yourself. And um, that isn't seen as an attack. So you just let go and you hand it over to um, your higher power, to God, to love. Um, you know, when you look at people that are defending themselves, they're ready for a fight. You get that feeling that they're ready for a fight, that they're going to attack someone. Um, if you go towards someone with that attitude of, oh my, you know, I'm right and I know everything and no one can tell me what to do, then you're defending yourself and that person will probably come back at you defending themselves as well. So what do you get? You, you can't get a solution because no one's letting go and no one's open enough to think that there might be a solution. So today, when I defend myself, um, I don't defend myself, I let go, basically, and I open up to the Holy Spirit, I hand the problem over, I go off, I get into a better vibration where I'm not defending myself, where I'm prepared to understand that person's point of view, where I'm prepared to listen, um, where I'm prepared to accept that whatever that person may say could actually help me and take me further along in my journey. I think that's a much better way of doing it. And when I decided to do that in therapy, when I let go completely surrendered and went in with the course, with this lesson as well in particular, because people used to say I would come in with all my guns and bombs and want to attack everyone uh, by defending myself. Just, just let go, Lauren. Just give them a chance to say something and listen. There may actually be some wisdom in there. I actually learned a hell of a lot. I learned how to not be as narcissistic, how to listen, really listen, because people said I didn't listen, and I thought I did. I really did, I th thought I did. But apparently I didn't listen, um, because I could never repeat what they actually said. So I learned how to really listen to people, to watch them, to, to see how vulnerable people are, and how to be kind and, and not, you know, and be careful what you say sometimes. I learned something called stop, think and listen which means that whenever you talk to someone don't just blurt it out think about what you're going to say and that's a really good technique I learned how to put myself in other people's shoes and that also helps because then you can understand where they're coming from and you empathize so that's the lesson for today don't defend yourself um, go towards every situation with an open heart and an open mind Think like a newborn child, that every person is a new person coming into your life and it, this is a new experience. Love you lots and have a beautiful day. Uh, again, 24th May, High Wycombe, we will discuss Course in Miracles at my house. If you want more details, then please message me on Facebook or send me an email. Love you lots. Bye.